watch this collection. This is Real England and we have a very special episode in the second part of this uh, conglomeration of watches. What do we start off with? Well, we start off with something that looks a bit like this. Now I'm not sure if you can see this. It's quite dim. Maybe we need a bit of lighting. Just bear with me a second, bear with me. Just bear with me one. That's better. We've got a bit of light now. Aha! That's a whole better, that's a lot better right now. This is a Navi Force uh, pilot watch. Um, I'm going to try and zoom in or bring it in a bit closer right now. You can actually see, obviously, here. <coughs> obviously, here. You've got your different, um, your different function of days. You've got the date there, which is obviously the 13th. And uh, it's by a very small company called Navi Force, which are Chinese. You see a pattern emerging here, but they are extremely good watches. And um, for the price, it's fantastic. And there we are. It even indicates it's a Saturday, highlighted in red. A simple mechanism but nonetheless a very very reliable watch and I would say that's on the time spot on. So that's number one. Here's for something a little bit a little bit different. Uh, this is a copy of the Hublot Big Bang watch. This is actually a Nigia uh, stainless steel and kind of like brushed similar sort of story it's a chronograph as you can see when you um, push the button at the top it goes round a succession of times and it stops at a minute and then you resume it that's quite a handy little thing it's made of obviously rubber give you an idea of what it looks like on the wrist obviously I'm not going to do this with every watch but we could all this is quite a strong watch to be fair. Consider you can if you bang it on your, on your table or whatever. But it will withstand most abuse. Um, so yeah, obviously this watch is an extremely nice watch for the price. Obviously it's still cheap, um, relatively speaking we're talking about maybe 20 quid here. Or collect model bikes, um, they 
just don't stop. <laughs> um, anyhow, um, we've just basically started this uh, review and I speak and uh, let's move on to the next watch. one thing about it, it's a very very good cop or a homage or homage whatever of the Tag Heuer watch. Tag Heuer being a very very luxury item of the watch, or very, so it's a luxury watch and they're very very It's very, very basic, but it does exactly what it says on the tin, and it looks quite nice indeed. This, however, the next watch I'm going to show you, is a little bit different. <clears throat> Let's just say this watch has a big history in Belarusia. This watch, however, is by a little known company called Lush, and Lush are a Belarusian company. This watch, however, from all the other watches I have, has one hand. Obviously, we know how to tell the time. On first inspections, from the two and the little dot, or the little line, indicates five minutes. The bigger line in between the two adjacent dots means it's 15 minutes. So a full rotation, the number three would be 60 minutes. Hence the reason that's how it tells the time. It's an automatic watch, which basically means um, it's an automatic watch like the Tavis. Um, so basically this watch has to be wound up. No batteries needed, and it's a 15 joule movement, which means it has 15 grooves. This one's a bit flashy. It's by a little known company called Song. It's got this very, very refractive light kind of lens on it. It's got a very nice lens. And I'll give you a little close up. It really is a pretty watch. This is going to focus. Hopefully, it will. There we are. Give the watch a shake and the camera self lights itself. There we are. Day complication in the right hand side, like most watches are.
comment. Here's something different. Bang! What is this you may ask? No, it's a, it's a Frankenstein watch. No, I'm just it's, it's, it's actually uh, from a company called Hawking. They're Chinese, obviously. And it's a rather smart watch. But I have a big face. Perspiration wrist. You've got a lovely little screw pattern um, device in it. For, for one up. You have to pull out that pin in order to <laughs> adjust the day, time, or whatever you want to call it. It's a skeleton watch. You can see the little flywheel spinning around there. This could be a little close up if you can focus. And there you are. There it is spinning freely. All the cogs and everything working nicely. It's actually quite a nice watch. Um, give it a little wind up. Let's see if you can see this. a pretty watch. I like that. Moving on swiftly. This is a new watch. I obviously received this yesterday and it's gonna be on today. What is it? Ah, it's not another one of those uh, cheap ass watches that I've just bought. Never mind. It's a Tibis T801 and it's copying a Rolex. join up with Twitter, you can join me on Twitter, if I ever join up in Instagram, you can do that same as well, but just please like, comment, subscribe, notify, and happy watching. Thank you very much.